All right, today we're staying here in Florida and we're answering one simple question for you and that is, what flood zones here in Florida require flood insurance? You know, as we stand right here on the water, of course, flood insurance is probably gonna be required if you have a mortgage. Remember, that can be the leading factor whether you have a mortgage or not here in Florida. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Chris, the flood insurance guru. More than 12 years ago, I bought a house here in a high-risk flood zone. I had a terrible experience with it, and I've been helping homeowners and real estate investors like yourself for the last 12 years solve these problems. Now let's talk about some of these flood zones here in Florida. Let's talk about flood zone X. Let's talk about flood zone A and flood zone B. First of all, X, also called a low-risk flood zone or non-special hazard area. Generally, flood insurance is not going to be required in these areas unless you've taken out disaster assistance or somebody has on the property in the past. Now let's talk about flood zone A or AE. Really anything that begins with A here is gonna be the special flood hazard area, the 100 year flood plain, as sometimes people call it. Now these are areas that fall within that 1% chance of flooding. If you have a mortgage, they're going to be required here in Florida. Now let's talk about V, as in Victor. These are velocity zones, like you see right here behind me. It potentially could be areas that are along the coastline that could be susceptible to coastal flooding from storm surge or things like this. So there's our three basic flood zones in Florida. Now flood zone V also is gonna be in your 100 year area where if you have a mortgage, it's going to be required. So if you're shopping for a mortgage, if you're shopping for a house in Florida, look at flood zone X first, then A and B to understand, first of all, it's gonna be required. But remember, also look at your flood risk score because these zones have little to do with risk. They have more to do with regulatory standpoint. Now you can understand flood zones by clicking in the description of this video and downloading our guide on flood zones that we've built just for you as a homeowner and a real estate investor. If you're ready to take the steps of getting a flood insurance quote, it's easy. You can also click in the description of this video and there's three simple steps. Get your quote, review your options, finalize your policy, that's it. Typically within about 24 business hours. I'm Chris, the Flood Insurance Guru, and I wanna say thank you for watching today's video on flood zones in Florida. Thank you.